Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can find out if someone is stealing or using our wi-fi now this is quite important because a lot of people do use wi-fi and sometimes uh, they don't uh, lock it down tight enough and people can hop on your wi-fi and use it so neurosoft has brought out a wireless network watcher which is a pretty decent bit of kit it's been out for a long time actually and it's a great way of detecting people when they uh, log on to your Wi-Fi network. It's a free piece of software and uh, it doesn't need installing but once you've got it on your system uh, you'll see that when someone uh, logs on to your Wi-Fi network it will give you a notification which is pretty cool. So let's have a look and uh, download this and uh, test it out and I'll show you how to uh, monitor it. And now you can also use Mac filtering to block um, other people on your network. So I've got this downloaded and I'm going to open it up in this folder here. So here we have the actual program itself. I'm just going to click on this and open it up. Now I want to copy these to a folder. I'll just quickly do this and uh, we'll open this up because it's on a zip file. So I'm going to copy this into a folder called uh, wireless. There we go. Now you know how to copy that to a folder, but basically these are the files inside here. Now once you run this program, uh, you're going to see uh, the MAC addresses here and you're going to also see the Network Adapter Corporation. You can see one of them's my router, one of them's my computer and also one of them is my phone. Now you can also uh, put on here a beep on new device. So when someone logs on to your Wi-Fi network a beep will happen on your computer and you can see I've just logged on with my uh, Samsung phone and automatically it detects on here sadly I muted the sand and uh, but you will hear a beep sound uh, when someone logs on to your Wi-Fi network now if we right click on that and go to properties it will give us the MAC address uh, for that network card also first detected when the date and time was and also last detected and uh, how many uh, detection counts how many times they've been on your network and whether they're active Another thing you can do is go into your router, log into your router by putting the IP address up on the top of your browser and type that in. If you don't know where that is, you can uh, find that on the bottom of your router. It's normally listed on there and log in using your password. Now, once you get inside here, I'm going to go to advanced settings here. Inside here, you want to go to where it says wireless and log on to your wireless um, settings page here. Now you'll see a bunch of uh, connections that are connected to your Wi-Fi network. So it also detects it inside here. And you can see we've got two unknown uh, Wi-Fi detected on our network. And also we have a phone on here uh, detected. Now these will also display the MAC addresses of those. Now you can also use MAC filtering, which is wireless MAC filtering. As you can see, it's been disabled on this router. But if you want to allow it, you can do. And this will allow only the MAC addresses that you add in as a device, or you can deny uh, certain MAC addresses. So let me just quickly show you here. I've got uh, two unknown uh, MAC addresses here. Now, if I wanted to block these two from connecting, I can either use the deny, but if I wanted to allow just my personal stuff through, I can add a filter on there and put on my own uh, MAC addresses. So you can see here, going back here, we're gonna take a look at this one here which is uh, connecting and disconnecting. And there is a, a name here which we can uh, look at. So I'm just gonna quickly right click and copy this uh, name. And I'm gonna put this into uh, Google here. And it's more than likely a Chinese company from some sort of Chinese hardware which I've got installed on my network, i.e. maybe a, a phone or maybe it's a doorbell or something like that because I've, I've got a Chinese doorbell with uh, a camera on it and stuff like that and it's probably one of those and that is the address for that particular type of uh, MAC address so we know it's coming from Hong Kong which is China basically and uh, that's how I know that it is to do with my doorbell it does say unknown now if I do want to block it if it was uh, suspicious I can use the wireless MAC filtering and you can see here I can either allow this to go through or I can deny uh, these ones to go through. So I can build up a deny list or I can build up an allow list, which will be all my own personal stuff and nothing else will be able to connect to this Wi-Fi network if they're not in my allow uh, list, okay? So let me go ahead and do a deny one. I'll quickly show you this one. So copy the MAC address that you want to block. 
So let's go ahead and copy a MAC address for this unknown uh, type here and block it so it don't um, get onto my Wi-Fi network. It's only just to show you, but I know what this MAC address is. So I'm going to put in here device name unknown and I'm going to put in the MAC address into this box down below here. OK, now what this will do is once I've got this set up exactly how I want it and push apply and then refresh, you'll see that that uh, MAC address has been booted off of my Wi-Fi network and it won't be able to connect. OK, and it's as simple as that. Now, also, you can set up uh, an allow list like this. And this is what I'd pre prefer to do is set up an allow list to allow those on your network. So all the devices on your network will be allowed to access. So I've just put denied here. I'm refreshing uh, the settings here and you now see that that one has disappeared off the Wi-Fi network because it's not allowed to connect and it's that simple. Now all you need to do now is reverse the process if you want to delete that you can do by just putting the ticks inside here. Remember we deleted uh, this uh, MAC address for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and so you'll see in two of them there and if you want to remove it you just apply changes and put delete and it will let it back onto the network again. Now the other option which is probably a better option is to set up a filter system for allowing certain types of MAC addresses on your home network and this way every device has a MAC address and you can allow all of those onto your Wi-Fi network like your printer or your smartphones or any type of uh, MAC address that you want to allow you just set up a, an allow list and uh, it will only allow those onto your Wi-Fi network and all the other stuff that tries to connect will not be able to okay and you just click allow here and then you just add all the devices in like so and uh, you're good to go from there so you just reverse the uh, the actual cycle there so what I'm going to do is quickly copy this MAC address here and I'm going to put in unknown and uh, paste that into here I've speeded this process up to just just to hide my MAC addresses and you can also remove them just as easy like that and that's pretty much it that's how you can add and remove um, wireless MAC addresses from your network and you can monitor who is connecting to your network and stealing your Wi-Fi. Okay, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.